Okay, math geniuses, we are now going to embark upon <clears throat> an attempt to solve a quadratic equation that will necessitate the very hardest method of completing the square. Here we go. 3x squared minus 5x plus 7 equals 0. I have no idea what the answer will be, but I do know this. Your A number is odd. There, let's write that down there. Your A number is odd. Your B number is also odd. And in fact, your C number is odd. What really matters here, though, is that 3, okay? Or any number in front of x squared that is not 1, because that causes trouble. As you will see, but completing the square always works, and so we're going to do this thing and not be stopped. There we go. All right, I'm going to move 7 over to the other side of the equation. 7 minus 7 is 0, leaving us with 3x squared minus 5x equals negative 7. Now, here comes the hard part. There's no way around it. Since this number, the A number, is not 1, I am going to have to divide every term by a. And our A is 3, so I am dividing every term by 3. That leaves me x squared minus 5 thirds x equals negative 7 thirds. Now, just like before, and I recommend, if this is the first video you've seen on completing the square, please look at the earlier videos. They deal with a more basic approach. This is the very hardest approach. Okay, I'm going to add my parentheses. The B number, negative 5 thirds, times 1 half, parentheses closed, squared, and then on the other side of the equal sign, parentheses, the B number, negative 5 thirds, times 1 half, parentheses closed, squared. From here on out, this method is everything you've seen before. x squared minus 5 thirds x plus, I multiply negative 5 thirds times 1 half, I get negative 5 sixths squared equals negative 7 thirds plus negative 5 sixths squared. Now back to the left side of the equation. This will factor, the left side of the equation will factor into x minus 5 6. I put parentheses around it and square it. Now I have a binomial squared, which is the whole purpose of completing the square. Now, on the right side of the equation, I actually have to work this out. Negative 7 thirds plus 25 36. Okay, you know probably how to use your TI calculator, how to use MathFrac in order to add these if you have trouble with fractions. But, 
I am going to use the old-fashioned method of finding an LCD for those of you who are interested in that. 3 will go into 36 12 times, so I'm going to multiply, uh, I was going to say the B number, but negative 7 thirds by 12 over 12. Now, that will give me negative 84 over 36 plus 25 over 36. Now what I have to do is figure out what this is. Negative 84 plus 25. 14, 7, 14 minus 5 is 9. And 7 minus 2 is 5. That will be negative 59, I think. Let's double check. 9 plus 5 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. Yes. So I'll have x minus 5. 6 squared equals negative 59 over 36. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to take the square root of both sides of the equation. Square root, parentheses, x minus 5 sixths squared equals plus or minus square root 59 over 36, and remember that's negative, so I'll put the negative right there. Now, let's look at the negative. I'm going to uh, put a blue circle around that. I have a negative under the radical. That means I'm going to punch out my I. Ooh, sounds brutal. Plus or minus I times the square root of 59 over 36. And remember that the square root of a fraction is the square root of the top, the numerator, over the square root of the bottom, the denominator. So this will be plus or minus i times the square root of 59 over the square root of 36, which is 6. So now, x minus 5 sixths equals plus or minus i times the, uh, 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 times the square root of 59 over 6. Which means, we're almost done, x equals, I add 5 six to both sides, here it is, plus or minus the square root of 59 over 6 i. And of course, if you're writing in my math lab, you'll have x equals an answer box. There we go. I'm making a really long answer box. 5 6, that's a 5, 5, 6 minus the square root of 59 over 6, i, comma, and 5, 6 plus the square root of 59 over 6, i. As always, you have to write um, complex numbers in a plus b i form. Okay, where your a is 5, 6, and your b is 59 over 6 here. And over here in, uh, in the first position, uh, your a is 5, 6, and your b is negative the square root of 59 over 6. Okay, 
there we are. We have completed our four, what, our four video set on how to complete the square in every possible situation. Talk to you soon.